Winter driving brings the possibility of some unique roadside emergencies. So today I want to show you what I've got in my winter essentials kit in case you come across one of those roadside emergencies. Of course, this might be a little different based on the activities you're going out to do in the winter uh, or what it is you might have in your specific climate, but these, this is a good roundup of the essentials you'll want to have in your car just in case things don't go as planned. First, we're gonna talk about a portable jumper pack because cold weather is not great for batteries. Gone are the days when you needed another vehicle to jumpstart your car if your battery was dead. Now these very, very portable jumper systems are available. It's basically just a charging pack and jumper cables and it couldn't be simpler. Follow the instructions with whatever pack you get, but you, just like any other jumper cables, you've got your positive, you've got your ground, start your car. Still recommend, at the very least, have a pair of old traditional jumper cables. Of course, you are gonna need another car with a functioning battery for these to work, but it is better than nothing, and if, if you have nothing else, uh, get a pair of standard jumper cables. It'll help you in a lot of emergencies. Another handy tool you're gonna need is pretty basic, but crucial and get you out of some sticky situations. This is just a small little portable extendable shovel, and you'll need this if you happen to go off road and you get stuck in the snow. It actually happened to me just last week. You can dig yourself out of a lot of bad situations with just a simple, small shovel. If your car gets stuck, you're gonna need some sort of traction device. What we've got here are Max Tracks. These are really easy to use. You slide these under whatever wheels are spinning. They help give your truck grip. A lot of overlanders use them. Um, I think they're really great for party platters too. Hummus, salsa, veggies, chips, it's awesome. But seriously, these will be great uh, for helping you get your vehicle unstuck if it's on a slippery surface. Anyone who has owned a pickup truck is familiar with the good old tube of sand. They weigh about 70 pounds and often you just store them in your truck to help traction in the rear. But if you're stuck, opening one of these bags and sprinkling some sand in front of your tires can help it gain traction and get you out of a ditch. Now, regardless of your vehicle, it's also a good idea to have some toe straps on hand. This is gonna be great, not only if you have a bigger vehicle and you can help pull another vehicle out, but if you don't have a bigger vehicle and you have these on hand, you can have somebody else help pull you out of a situation if you're really, really stuck. Now, there's a whole bunch of different toe straps out there. This is a fairly cheap pair. They run anywhere from 10 up to 150 bucks. We recommend looking for something that has a soft shackle. Uh, it's safer, it's tougher, uh, good to look out for. A lot of the bigger, bulkier items you'll probably keep in a trunk or your truck bed. Some of these other items are much easier to just throw in your back seat or have somewhere inside the car. First, it's always a good idea to have a flashlight, ideally a rechargeable one because you can plug it in uh, as you drive and then you know it's charged. This is a Phoenix UC35. Uh, like we say, it's winter, it's gonna be dark more often than not. And if you're stuck and you need to see what you're doing, whether you're jumping or taking care of any other uh, rescue maneuvers we just talked about, having extra light is key. Flashlight is also good for one of our other essentials in the winter toolkit, a signal device. Most flashlights have a strobe function that'd be great for signaling. You might also want to have good old fashioned roadside flares to help flag down anybody, let them know you're in an emergency. Another essential you're gonna to wanna to have in your car at all times, but especially important in winter, is just a general toolkit to take care of any sort of maintenance issues. This one's here, accompanied our editor in chief to Alaska and back. Uh, inside, it's just kind of a standard assortment of any kind of tools. You can customize it as you see fit. Uh, at the very least, however, have a multi-tool. If nothing else, have a multi-tool that can get basic tasks done. We got a Leatherman here, um, but carry some things so that you can, you have a driver, you have pry, you have all sorts of tools uh, that can meet a variety of maintenance needs. Basic first aid is an essential that's great to have all of the time, and this is kind of a no-brainer. You can get this together at home with whatever you see fit, band-aids, general bandages, tape, etc. Adventure medical kits make some uh, curated first aid kits that you can just keep in your car, toss it in there, set it and forget it, and just keep it there in case the worst happens. Keeping a nice blanket, ideally a wool one, just sitting in your back seat all winter long is a great idea. Uh, if it's cold and you're broken down, having a blanket to snuggle up in, stay warm, is gonna be great. Also not a bad idea to keep a few extras on hand, maybe throwing a rain shell in the back in case it's wet. And of course, it's winter, so just make sure you have gloves, a hat, the essentials to stay warm. Basic road trip essentials are also great to have in a winter preparedness kit. Uh, maybe a snack or a little lunch, 
having water on hand and an insulated vessel so it doesn't freeze, and entertainment just to keep your mind occupied, maybe a book, really great idea. That's pretty much everything you're gonna wanna have in your winter essentials kit. Of course, before you take off out on the road, make sure you have good winter tires. Double check that you have a jack and you have a spare tire somewhere in your car, whether it's under the undercarriage of your truck or in the trunk of your car. Uh, if you wanna learn more about the winter essentials that we recommend, head over to gearjunkie.com and read our story.